Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix screen tearing on your Google TV. So if you got like a Sony or something like that or a Google TV streamer, uh, let's go all the way to the right and go to settings and then go to display and sound. A lot of times there's gonna be a mismatch in like the frame rates or something like that or um, your TV resolution in different hertz, uh, the refresh rate. So we can just change this around. So if we go on down to where it says uh, match content dynamic range, I have this enabled, uh, that's fine, but we wanna go to match content frame rate. Now, I would say, always have this on. So if you have this selected to never, well, your TV refresh rate could be different than what's being displayed. So that is why there is a mismatch. So go to always, and then uh, you won't have that mismatch anymore, and your TV is gonna refresh at the same rate as the content that you're watching. So you could try turning that on if you want, if you are experiencing uh, screen tearing. Now another thing that we could do is go on down to resolution. And you can see I have 4K at 60 hertz right here, but I could drop the hertz down a little bit too. If you notice you're getting a lot of screen tearing, you might want to try like 59.94 or something like that, or 4K at 50 hertz. And if you're watching more cinematic stuff, I believe it drops it down to like 4K at 24 hertz. Uh, for like uh, movies and stuff like that. They shoot at 24 hertz in those. So you could try just dropping down the refresh rate just a little bit to see if that is actually aligning crack. So maybe 60 hertz isn't working, drop on down to like 59.94. And if that does work, you could try just dropping down through this list until you find something that is uh, working with your setup. And then we got advanced display settings. We can go to the right. And then we got uh, game mode. You could try turning on game mode too. Uh, this is going to be a low input mode, so everything on your screen is going to be far more responsive. And then we got preferred dynamic range. Once again, I just have match content dynamic range on here, so there's not a mismatch. And then we got the format selection. I just have this automatic as well. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six tap.